it's Molly. I'm doing a resin piece tonight. Um, I did an acrylic pour and I wanted to resin over top of it to give it a little bit of interest. I was experimenting, it was a pretty large canvas and I didn't really love the pour that I did on it. I actually poured a couple of different times. So instead of taking it as a fail, I wanted to try to make it into something beautiful. At the end of the video, you can check out where I show you how I mix my resin, I show you how I brace the back of the canvas, um, and all of that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm using um, my KS resin, and I'm using their pigments, and I'm also using resin art pigments. So um, I'm hoping that it's gonna be kind of glittery and gold and fuchsias and black. So um, I don't know, I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started because you have about a 45 minute working time with this resin. Um, I may go ahead and speed things up uh, because this is probably gonna take a little while, um, but at the end, I tell you how I mix the paints, I show you how I prep the back of the canvas, and then as I do my close-up, I'll talk to you about what I did so that you guys can, can fully get a tutorial of what's going on. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So this is what it looks like for now, and I've got one little resist part right there, um, but I'm going to put a top coat over this, so let me see if I can get you in on some of the Resin Never photos as well, or videos as well, but see, you can see my canvas underneath it, and it's so hard to see, but there's so many cool, like, look at that lacing in there. I mean, it's just really, really beautiful. So I just wanted to add some depth to what I was doing. Um, and otherwise, you know, this piece had a lot of paint on it. It had crevices in it. I wasn't going to do anything with it, really. So that's the piece for now. I'll put a top coat on it, and I'll show you guys when it's done. All right, you guys, this piece is like so big you can see my kitchen in the back too with the reflection but I had to stand all the way back there hey guys <laughs> so let me can't I'll have to go from this angle so that the windows not in the way but let me see if I can get you yeah there is that gold all that shimmer Wow, it's really beautiful. So let me tell you what happened to this spot right here. It's actually a little bit raised right here. I went to pull out a piece of lint and I pulled up an entire sheet of resin. <laughs> so don't do that. But my husband said, actually, I like it. It's kind of three dimensional. So I don't know if I'm gonna add another layer of resin or not. I don't know if I'm going to leave it and take it to my festival and somebody can see it and if they like it, they can purchase it. But I love the color scheme. I love the black against those pinks and that gold. Um, I like that you can kind of still see the pour that's underneath it in these places. I, I really, I'm really happy with this. So there you have it. All right, thank you guys for watching. Yep, the painting. Bye. So I wanted to show you what I did to the back of the canvas really quick. I just, so I taped everything off and I 
put these um, cardboard boxes that I had for shipping. I cut them and um, fit them into the canvas. And I'll turn it over and let you see. But resin is heavy, and if the canvas is saggy at all, it will sag in the middle, and you'll end up getting pooling in the middle, and it'll pull away from the sides. So I don't normally pour on or do resin on canvas, but I had this, and I wanted to add some to it. So I stick it up under the edges, and I'll turn the canvas around, and you can see. All right, so you guys always ask why so I show this stuff at the end, but I'm using KS Resin. You get 5% off if you use uh, the code Molly's Artistry. Um, and check out their website. They keep adding things. They've gotten a lot better with their shipping. But I'm using their pigment pastes, and I'm also using uh, Bling It Micas from Resin Art and their Luster Pigments. Oops, could you see that? And, yep, so, and then I'm using some alcohol inks, and the alcohol inks are in my, why can't I get anything to focus? The alcohol inks are in um, my Amazon store, as long as, as well as with a lot of other, the other supplies. So I've mixed this really well, and you'll see, if you can see in there, so there's a few air bubbles, but it starts out opaque, and you'll know, not opaque, but like not transparent, and you'll know when it starts to really mix well together because it'll start to clear out, and all you'll see are those bubbles in there. So I'm just going to pour a little bit into each one. Now, I don't have any acrylic paints in here, but if you had acrylic paint, you would definitely only want to use a tiny little bit. They say the rule is 10%. Because if you do more than 10%, then your, um, your resin will seize up almost immediately. And nobody wants that. So I'm going to pour these into here. And I'm going to save some clear because I want part of my um, painting to be clear so that you can see through to the bottom. So... I'm gonna save this entire part here. And I have an extra canvas prepped because I always make a little bit extra. So if you guys wanna make like tiles or you know, like have something prepped, um, already taped off so that you can um, use it if you have any extra because resin is not cheap, right? Um, always wear your protective gear, please, if you have any respiratory issues. Um, I never have an issue with KS Resin. I don't wear a respirator, but if I did this every day, I would. So, look at that from Resin Art. Now, there are big mica flakes in here that I'm hoping will show through on the painting, and I used a smaller pigment together, so... There that is. This was the Pirate's Blood from, and you'll see it's clear, and then as it, you don't need much pigment at all. So everybody says, oh, it's so expensive. No, you don't need much at all. This has lasted me almost a year with the work that I do. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. Okay, so that's that one. This is the, and I'll let you see the difference between the two of these because this is the pigment paste from resin, uh, from uh, KS Resin. And if you can see, that's a very fine, it's a paste. So that is going to come through kind of like this opaque solid color. This, you can see it right in there. It's got big flakes in it. So, super excited about both of those. I've realized in my videos I say super excited all the time, but it's because I am. So in this one, I did the pigment paste. Uh, I think it's called Flamingo. And then I added, when you wanna get, when I wanna get some lacing or cells or an interaction, I put a little bit of alcohol ink in mine. So that one will probably be a little bit more translucent. Then I don't know why I mixed up so much of this magenta, but I needed, I wanted more black than magenta, but okay. So there we go, and that is all mixed up as well. My last one, this was a test that I did, and I'm super glad that I did, 
because I didn't have orange and there's orange in my painting. So what I did was I took ivory and I mixed the orange uh, alcohol ink in it and it turns into this beautiful color. If I wanted this a little bit darker, I would put a little bit more alcohol ink, but I think I should be good. So that is it. And then I'm going to leave this just the way that it is, but check out KS uh, Resin's website. Uh, you know, it, it, I literally love them, so I am an affiliate with them, but I tell you guys this because the resin is easy. If you guys are having problems, this one is super easy as long as you alcohol it off, clean the silicone off if you're using silicone, really take your measures. It's crystal clear cures within a week. It says fully cured in only three days, but it's actually seven days. It dries really fast. You get 45 minutes of working time, zero VOC, almost no odor whatsoever. Um, it has doming capability. It's just a one-to-one, -one, um, and I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish off the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share if you like. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, happy painting. Bye.